my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 493 in this lecture we will try to understand core point border point and noise point so for every point in our data set capital d equal to what is my capital d here my capital d equal to set of xi given min points and epsilon i can categorize every point in my data set as core point or border point or noise point let me define each of them let's try to understand core point a point p is said to be core point if point p has if this point p has greater than or equal to min points number of points in an epsilon radius around it so given a point p you basically draw a circle around it let me say this is my point p this is point p let me assume this is my this is my point p isn't it uh, this is the this one is circle this is circle has radius what is the radius of this circle radius of circle is epsilon if the number of points in the radius in the if the number of points in in this particular radius is greater than or equal to min points then you call this point you call this point p as a core point isn't it so core point i can say core point always belongs to dense region because remember the definition of dense region a dense region is a region that contains at least min points so every core point belongs to a dense region that's the core idea of what is a core point is the second concept is border point a point p is said to be border point if p is not a if if that particular point p is not a core point it means p has less than min points points in epsilon radius around it our second condition is p belongs to the neighborhood of an other point q your p must belongs to neighborhood of other point q where q is a core point what is a neighborhood means what a neighborhood means it means the distance between p and q is less than or equal to epsilon so p itself is not a core point remember this is important p is said to be border point if p is not a core point but p lies in the neighborhood of a core point and what is neighborhood means that is the distance between distance between p and q is less than or equal to epsilon this is an important idea i will show you a diagram to explain this concept the third thing the third case is noise point noise point so any point which is neither core point nor border point every other point which is a noise point basically all the points which are neither core nor border point is a noise point to understand this concept i i think we have to go to the slide show which we used earlier i will provide the link to this in the description of the video this is the this is the same slide show that we used earlier isn't it so let's look at some simple example here i have min points as 4 just observe what is my min points here my min points is 4 and let me assume epsilon my epsilon is equal to 1 let's look at this particular point 
let me check let me check this particular point isn't it let's look at this point so i draw a circle around this point when i draw a circle around it how many points do i have in this circle just check it out how many points do i have here uh, i have two three four five points isn't it which which are more than min number of points what is our min number of points four this point is core point now let's look at now let's look at uh, other point let me say this is the point isn't it this is the point when i draw a circle around it i only have three points what are the what are those points this one two three isn't it i only have three points which which is less than the number of min points so this point is not a core point but the distance between let me assume that this is not core point the distance between let me say this point is let me assume this point is p1 and this point is p2 isn't it but the distance between this p, p p2 what is this distance between p2 and other core point p1 p1 is a core point isn't it p2 is not a core point because it has three points within the radius of epsilon min points that we are using is four and epsilon equal to one but p2 is in the neighborhood of p1 because the distance between p1 and p2 is less than or equal to epsilon and hence p2 becomes border points it's a border point p2 is a border point isn't it what about this point 3 isn't it for this point 3 if i draw a circle around it it has only how many points it has it has only two points isn't it how many points does it have just let me show how many points just let me check how many points this point and this point isn't it it has only two points within epsilon radius now two is less than or equal to four and hence it is not a core point and this point is not within an epsilon this distance is this distance what is this distance this distance is more than epsilon isn't it it's more it's more than epsilon so the point p3 is noise point so while this theory is good look at an example imagine this is my uh, this is my this is imagine this is my data this is let me assume this is my original points isn't it yes imagine this is data it's like a mage isn't it all your core points are uh, green points if you notice they are within the dense region the border points are actually bordering the core points if you think about them the noise points are outside outside the dense region this is the fundamental idea of what a core point border point and the noise point i will continue my discussion in my next lecture that is in lecture number 494 thank you